This is the story of how we survived nine days on a tiny motorbike in the Philippines. This is Eds, my adventure-loving husband who loves exploring by bike. The only problem is, we don't actually have a bike of our own. So what do we do? We rent. Eds is actually 6'1". He's pretty tall, especially for Philippine standards. This is me, Joyce. I normally love doing these adventures with him, but only because I know it's just for one day. This is Milka, our VIB, very important baby. She's always along for the ride. We've rented motorbikes before, but since there's three of us on, most of them have been severely underpowered, which often leads to pretty interesting stories. So today, we decide to push our limits. We undertake the Philippines' North Luzon Loop. This is around 1,500 kilometers around the Philippines' steep mountains. We reach high elevations, experience different sceneries, and varying weather. Not to mention misfortunes along the way. Oh my gosh! We are severely out of gas. We rented this bike, the biggest one so far. But with all our stuff and the three of us, this bike is looking smaller and smaller. So how did we survive nine days on this thing? I guess you'll have to watch to find out. We are Eds and Joyce. Together with our baby Milka, we travel the world one beautiful destination at a time in constant search for our next adventure. Are you ready? Oh, ready. Okay, guys, this is it. It is currently 4.30 a.m. and we are on our way to Baguio. This is gonna be the first leg of our trip on Google Maps. It says it's gonna take us like seven hours to get there. We'll see. Here we go. We've been on the road for four hours and this is our first stop before when we would go on rides it would take us like it would take us forever because we would stop every hour or every 30 minutes it turns out the secret is to leave early it's actually much cooler the wind is nicer and there's no traffic so our journey for today is around 238 kilometers and right now we have finished 119. I think for the first time we may actually make it. <laughs> It is 10.30 and the sun is just beating down on us. It's so warm. So Milka also asked for another bathroom break. She's so funny, I swear. It's so hot. I think that's the number one thing that we are against, the sun. Exhausted. Super exhausted. 
<gasps> it is currently 12 noon and I'm proud to say that we are more than halfway through. I think we have like two and a half more hours to go. Um, but it is 12 noon so it is so hot. Luckily we found this restaurant that has AC and they let milk in so... <laughs> milk is cooling off. Ed's is also really hungry and by the sound of what he ordered, I think he ordered a feast. What? <laughs> I think I overordered. <laughs> oh, I got so hungry. <laughs> I need a nap. It's so hot out. Oh. are dying out here. It's so hot. The sun is just so intense. We can't. We needed to stop again. Thank God for this milk tea, tea shop. Oh my gosh. This is just the first leg of the trip. What are we gonna do? <laughs> oh my God. This is seriously the perfect stop. I'm able to stretch my back, lie down. <laughs> it's cold. It's... I mean, there's air. So I think we only... I've been saying this for the past five hours, but we only have two more hours to go. <laughs> Same. <laughs> but it's fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I got conned into this situation. I got tricked into this. We really fell asleep. This place is a lifesaver. So we are just about to make our way up to Baguio. Oh my gosh, we are so tired. Ooh, it's also getting a lot cooler now, so... Uh, I don't know what to expect when we're up there. So that's not us. <laughs> huh. I believe this is gonna be our last stop for the day. Hopefully. Oh. You want pa some more traveling? <laughs> Don't be fooled. Milka is also exhausted. All three of us are exhausted. Shall we? Wait, wait. <laughs> give, me, <laughs> give me some. Give me like a few minutes. <laughs> she says yes. Oh my gosh, it is honestly so cold up here. So we made it to Baguio. It is actually 9 o'clock right now. We got here around 20 minutes ago and we found a place that would accept Milka. Ta-da! Our basic necessities. Bed, shower, and bed. Yay! So this is supposedly seven and a half hour ride. Took us 16 hours. To be fair, we took two naps. Good morning! So we are in Baguio and it is a brand new day today. Uh, last night, I was feeling so down already because we were so tired. But today, I am extremely, extremely refreshed after a nice shower and a good night's sleep. So we are very, very ready to go. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. It's time to go.
So it is really the views like this that make the drive so, so worth it. This day is so nice. Like it started out so perfect. The sun is out and the the weather is really nice because it's chilly, but the sun is out. So couldn't have asked for a better start of the day. It's so cold right now. It's so good to ride in the morning because uh, the wind is so cold. The sun feels good. The sun feels good. It's not burning hot. <laughs> And this one's happy. Yeah, she's very, very happy. <laughs> Hello. So Edson and I found this perfect rest stop off the highway. And this is in Ambassador. They have coffee and they have pizza. So it's a perfect rest stop for us. It's a perfect breakfast too. Yeah. Where is that? This is hazelnut coffee. Mine is Binget. Cheers. Ah, oh, that feels really good in the morning. Yep. I'm so hungry. Oh. <sighs> Coffee and pizza. <laughs> Who would have thought, huh? <laughs> I'm so happy that Ed's convinced me to continue. I really, really wanted to go home last night. My spirits were so low. <laughs> I was like, if this is gonna, like... <laughs> I'm so happy you convinced me to do, to do this because this morning was, this morning actually made the entire of yesterday for it. Yeah. yeah. I actually now get why like people ride mm -hmm. the way they do and just like look look at the scenery and everything. It's so nice. So nice. I get the thrill now. We are winning. We are really winning right yeah. now. <laughs> Peach is good. Coffee's Coffee good. Coffee's good. Weather is great. Yeah. This is really good coffee. Wow, you've become a coffee drinker. <laughs> you know places like this, they actually like set up like a really, really good mood for the trip. So it's like finding little treasures on the side of the road. Huh? It's basically an energy boost. <laughs> like a spirit boost. Actually. Yeah, morale boost. <laughs> So we are actually headed to Sagada, which is around 84 kilometers away from here. And it's supposed to take us another four hours. So according to Waze and Google Maps, we should be arriving there at around 1.30. But we'll see about that. We're actually traveling along Halselma Highway, which is the highest highway elevation in the Philippines. So I'm actually really excited to see the views that are coming from here because the Philippine mountains are just so pretty. So yeah, I'm very, very excited for this trip. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's go. <laughs> oh wow, okay, shall we? Let's go. So we are at the perfect stop right now. The view is glorious. There are no barriers, but I'm freaking out because it's so high. But it's so nice. I just don't want to look at it. <laughs> I really hate heights. I like views, but I hate heights. We're on top of the world! Oh, this is it. That's the half tunnel. Cute. Alright. 
Good enough. Nice. This drive is so nice. It's crazy. Now I know why like people ride adventure rides. Ah, uh, the views are breathtaking and uh, it's so awesome. The thrill of riding a bike is so awesome. I'm just also glad that we started working out a couple of months before this so we're a little bit more fit. Riding a bike needs endurance and strength. It's not really something to be taken lightly. I'm just happy to be the passenger. I'm just really thankful that we got to visit places like this because it's really really nice. I can't believe this is just in the Philippines and it's just like, you know, it's our backyard basically, right? 16 hours away, but still our backyard. Oh my gosh, we are severely out of gas. Sometimes the small shops like that have gas. We need to get gasoline on the other shop because they don't have any here. Oy, our tiny, tiny bike. I honestly can't believe the three of us fit there. <laughs> That should do it until the next real gas station. That was awesome. <laughs> Drive is insane, the wind is whistling, it's so nice. Oh my god! So there was a forest fire a couple of days ago. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're still trying to put out the fire. It's so disheartening because we've been driving for the past like 20 minutes and you can really see the damage that the fire has caused. So it's so heartbreaking for the forest and for the mountain. I hope that nobody got injured with that. before sunset. Oh, the happiest girl. Okay, ready? Okay. Ready? okay. Wow. Last stretch. Let's get it. How did that feel? I just need a little stretch. Hmm. Oh. 
My god. Then she's gonna want to sleep on the bed later. <laughs> We have last 15 minutes to go and we're in Sagana. Whew, we're finally here. Ah, home sweet home. Wow. Oh, oh nice. nice. Home for the night, comfy bed, shower. What more could we ask for, right? Yes, please. So it's 4.30 a.m. when we just started the day. And you know what I realized? Riding pala is so much different from doing the normal touristy things people do. It's because it's more about the journey, the thrill of the ride, rather than getting to the spot and like enjoying the day there. If you're on the bike 24-7, you're on adventure mode 24-7. It's really super tiring too, but it's so rewarding as well. So we are just about packed and ready to go on the next leg of our trip. Um, I'm just mentally preparing myself for the trip ahead because today we plan on going all the way to Pagudpod, which is 106 kilometers away from here. And according to Waze and Google Maps, it's gonna take us around 9 hours we would be going through a lot of small towns which would be okay but we're going to be going through Cagayan Valley which is just nestled between two huge mountains which means it's just really really dry and hot and nine hours going through that valley just uh, it's just something I need to mentally prepare myself for I'm just really not looking forward to the heat that it brings so wish us luck <laughs> Good morning, Sagada. It's gonna be a good day today. Claim it. You see, Naka? Everything the light touches is yours. Oh, that's beautiful. B E A beautiful. We're in the clouds now. We're in the clouds, Milka. <laughs> Yeah. This view is magnificent. I crashed the drone and it's gone. We can we can't get it now. It's somewhere up in the trees in the mountains. In the rice terraces. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> what about the footage? Is it I have like a little bit of footage here in the phone. From yesterday? Yeah, from yesterday. Can you please save it? Oh yeah. my god. <sighs> <sighs> I can deal with the drone being crashed, but the footage is can you just check, please? <sighs> oh my god. Shit, I'm even really bad. I told you to put this a new card in. Every day, put a new card in. That but keep on the last night. Okay. I know exactly where it is. Where? Sab likod nito. It might be there. If it's on our side of the river, there's something we could do. 